Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, India has successfully tested a new indigenous air launched system from a Su-30 fighter jet, which is designed to target a variety of surveillance and radar targets on the ground. This new generation anti-radiation system has a strike range of around 100 kilometers, and is the first indigenous air-to-ground system to be developed by the DRDO, after the supersonic BrahMos cruise system developed jointly with Russia. According to latest reports, the Indian Navy and DRDO have conducted another test of the Barak 8 long-range surface-to-air system from INS Chennai, which is developed by the DRDO with Israeli Aerospace Industries and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems Limited. The supersonic Barak 8 system has an interception range of 100 km, and is in the process of being tested from Indian ships, and once fully operational, it will be equipped on all frontline Indian ships as an all-weather defense shield. Bharat Dynamics Limited is already gearing up for the bulk production of Barak 8 systems. China had offered the J-31 fighter jet to Pakistan in the past, which was rejected due to the high procurement and maintenance cost of the dual-engine fighter. China has now offered three options to Pakistan Air Force, which includes a low-cost and stealth variant of the JF-17 as the first option. The second is basically an improvement of JF-17 Stealth and JF-176, which will come with an internal bay and lower radar cross-section. The third option is JF-20, which is inspired by J-31, but a completely new design. The Indian government has resumed negotiations with Swiss aircraft manufacturer Pilatus, after the company paid a penalty of around 1 million Swiss francs. The Ministry of Defense has now agreed to the plea of the Air Force, that the pact with Pilatus is critical, because the Stage 1 training of new pilots totally depends on the existing PC-7 aircraft, which needs regular servicing and overhaul to remain operational. The decision is yet to be taken on constituting the separate order for procuring 38 additional PC-7 aircraft. According to latest reports, Hindustan Aeronautics is set to outsource the production of the advanced light helicopter in the next couple of years, and a request for proposal to select an Indian private company for complete transfer of technology will be made soon. Similarly, the critical components of the Tejas light combat aircraft have been outsourced, and the l and factory has recently supplied Tejas wings to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Around 275 items that were licensed under Ordnance Factory Reserve List have also been denotified, so that the armed forces can go directly to the market with competitive bidding, in which Ordnance Factories can also participate. In a significant move, the use of indigenously produced biofuel for military aircraft has been cleared, after months of exhaustive ground and flight trials. The Indian Air Force is expected to use biofuel for its transport fleet and helicopters, following the clearance given by the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification. India is set to announce a partnership with a South African defense manufacturer, which had previously been blacklisted by the Congress government. The partnerships with a number of South African defense firms will be discussed during the visit of the South African President, who has arrived in New Delhi to be the chief guest at the 70th Republic Day celebrations.